Well, Shana Tova, everyone, and Boker Tov. You know, over the course of the pandemic, so many have been rediscovering the nature trails around our great city. <laughs> Lion's Den is a particularly beautiful one with its sheer cliffs. And I heard a story from that place about a man who was walking next to a cliff when suddenly the earth gives way and he falls over the edge and yet manages to grab hold of a plant growing out of the side of the cliff and hanging uh, about 100 feet off the ground, he yells, God, please help me many times until there's a thunderous voice overheard that says, do you believe in me? Yes, yes, the man replies. Do you trust me? The voice asks. And yes, yes, just please help me. I can't hang here much longer. Then let go, the voice commands. And the man looks up and says, is there anyone else up there I can talk to? <laughs> I just want to first off thank the choir for laughing after hearing that joke two times. But sometimes we need faith and sometimes we need to question. You know, that's who we are. These high holidays are a time of faith and questions with faith so that we can, with that faith that we have within us gives us the ability to persevere despite the obstacles we encounter. Faith so we might leap with confidence in the year to come and questions to keep us grounded, to remind us to walk with sensitivity and care in an often challenging world. So it's good to be with all of you this morning. Whether you are online, watching from home, or here with us in person, we are one community joined together to welcome the new year. We recognize how each of us stands together to create something greater than any one individual can create. Our brothers and our sisters stand together unique in experience, history, and notion, but all united in the mystery and the glory of life. May we stand together as one community as we pray for a year of health and goodness, a year of connection, and a year of fulfillment. And let us say, Amen. amen. Good Yuntif, everyone. We are going to turn in our Machsor to page 110 with Ma Tovu. It's page 110. A simple refrain which you all will learn quickly and you'll sing along with myself and the choir. Mi 
115, there's a meaningful reading that comes from the Talmud. Regardless of our belief system, regardless of whether we believe in a divine being, we are a religion that has a code of ethics. My rabbi of blessed memory, Jordan Pearlson, used to say, Jewing is doing, which probably we shouldn't say anymore. But the sentiment is appropriate. We're a religion of actuating our principles. And this reading reminds us that when we fulfill certain obligations, it not only has a positive impact in the world, but so too does it have a positive impact in our lives and leads to the type of future we all hope for. And before we study them together, let us discuss several ways we can bring that dignity to the world. One thing that we can do is go to the back tables at the conclusion of the services, and there you'll find a paper bag and we ask you to take the paper bag and bring it back on Yom Kippur filled with non-perishable items that we will deliver to the Milwaukee Hunger Task Force and the Jewish Food Pantry. And this year, the Jewish Food Bank has asked for very specific items, so please uh, find a list that's associated with these bags. And as we approach the fast uh, of Yom Kippur, may we do so with an understanding and empathy for those who are hungry each and every day. And once again, we turn to page 115, and please read the English after I read the Hebrew. Elu divarim she adam ochel parotem beolam hazeh vehakeren kayemet lo leolam haba veelu hain kivud avaim ugmilut chasadim veashkamat beit hamidrash yacharit veharavit veaknasat orchim uvikur cholim veaknasat kala uvayat hamet veyun tefila vehavaat shalom bein adam lechavero. The Talmud Torah Keneged Kulam. Let's read together. Some mitzvot sustain us not only in this world, but also in the world to come. They are honoring our parents, acting with kindness and loyalty, eagerly pursuing Jewish learning at all times, welcoming guests, visiting the sick, rejoicing with couples under the chuppah, caring for the dead and mourners, delving deeply into prayer, making peace among human beings, and the study of Torah, this is the cornerstone. We now turn to Psalm 150 on page 135. Hallelujah, 
extraordinarily hard to bring us such uplifting music and carrying our prayers even higher. And speaking of praising God with every instrument at our disposal, as is recited in Psalm 150, perhaps our greatest instrument is the soulful voice of our cantor, who works extraordinarily hard to put together this music for us on these high holidays. And just as our cantor and our choir elevates our spirit, so too do we turn to page 136 in anticipation of the sounding of the shofar. Let us read responsively on this page. Blessed are we, blessed our gathering, as we open our hearts to the voice of the shofar. Happy are we who hears its call to return, the sacred trumpet of Teshuvah. Blessed are we held close by an ancient sound that echoes Lador Vador from generation to generation. Happy are we rising to the joyful cry of a new year, Blessed are we who hear in these blasts of sound the voice of community. Happy, Happy are we who know its embrace, its season of celebration, its quest for connection and purpose. Holy is the gift of community. Blessed the act of belonging. Shema Yisrael. Hear, O Israel. The divine abounds everywhere and dwells in everything. Its faces are infinite. Its source suffuses at all the many are one. Please rise now for the sounding of the shofar. Tekia. Shvarim trua. Tekia. Please be seated. We read responsibly now. Blessed is the soul reaching sound of the shofar. It proclaims the purpose of this day. Blessed is community, source of joy, solace, and strength to every living soul. We turn now to page 139. Beloved friend who calls us to conscience, reminds us of our own strength, invites us to grow, empowers us to act. Cosmic mysteries are yours, but the earth is ours, to tend and heal as best we can. Beloved partner in creation, we join our strength with yours to make you real and true. We continue on page 140. Yishtabach Shimcha La'ad Malkeinu, we read together, Our sovereign God, source of holiness, greatness, may your name be praised forever in this world and beyond. Eternal One, God of mothers and our fathers, your strength, sanctity, glory, and dominion are deserving of song, praise, poetry, hymn, 
sacred chant, and blessings of thankfulness for all time and eternity. Baruch Ata Aronai, El Melech Gadol Batish Bachot, El Haodaot Adon Haniflaot, Habocher Bashire Zimra, Melech El Che Haolamim. Blessed are you, Adonai, sovereign of praise, praise, source of the impulse to give thanks, crown of wonders, who desires a world filled with song and a universe of life. It kadal, ve it kadal, sheme rabba. Amen. Ve alma di vrachirute, ve am lich malchute, Amen. <laughs> to page 142 and rise for our call to worship. Yotzer or uvore choshech, ose shalom uvore etakol, or olam beotzar chaim, orot meofel omar beyihia. Hameir la aretz veladarim aleha berachamim, uftuvo mechadesh bechol yom tamid maase vereshit, ma rabu maasecha adonai, kulam bechochma asita. Mal'a ha'aretz kinya necha, tit barach Adonai Eloheinu, al shevach ma'ase yadecha, ve'al me'ore or she'asita yufa'arucha sela. In love you bring light to the earth and its creatures. Your goodness renews the creation each day. Infinite, varied, and rich are your works, divine artist, all of them wrought with wisdom. The whole earth is teeming with life. Awestruck by the universe, work of your hands, let all life bless you, praise you, and celebrate the beauty of your lights. Or Chadash al Tzion Ta'ir Venizke Hulanu Mehera Oro, may you shine a new light on Zion, and may we soon be privileged to share in that light. Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer Hameorot. Our praise to you, Adonai, creator of the cosmic lights. We turn to page 146 and read together. Love abundant, abundant love, love unstinting. unstinting. Our God, God you have unfolded us, us in love. Tender compassion beyond, beyond all bounds, your, your precious, precious gift. gift. Our, Our fathers and mothers gave, gave you their trust, and you gave, gave them Torah, laws, laws by which to live. For their sake, teach, teach us as well. well. Grace, Grace us with, with your guidance. guidance. Loving Father, merciful Mother of us all, grant us clear understanding that we may listen, learn, and teach, preserve, practice, and fulfill with love every lesson of your Torah. May learning your Torah light up our eyes. May our hearts embrace your mitzvot. Unite us in love and reverence for you, that we may never feel ashamed of our deeds. Page 148. 
We have trusted in your great and holy name. Now let us celebrate at last the joy of your salvation. Together, bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride for the land that is ours. For you are a God of miracles and wonders. From all the peoples of the earth, you sought us out and brought us near to your great enduring truth. So with love, we acknowledge and proclaim that you are one. Baruch Ata Adonai, Habocher Ba'amo Yisrael, Ba'ahava. Our praise to you, Adonai. You have signaled out your people Israel with love. We turn to page 150 for the watchword of our faith, the Shema. Shema. Adonai your God, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you you lie lie down down and when when you rise up. up. Bind them as a sign upon upon your hand. hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. Thus you will become holy to your God. I, Adonai, am your God, who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I, Adonai, your God. Adonai Eloheichem emet. We continue on page 163. We continue on page 163. I flipped to 164. I see how that happened. (laughs) We read responsively at the bottom of the page. Remember the stories of slavery and you will never stop working for freedom. Remember their fear at the edge of the sea and self-doubt will never defeat you. Remember when desperation turned to celebration and you will never let go of hope. Forgetfulness leads to Ameru Adonai Le'olam Va'ed Tzur Yisrael Tzur Yisrael Kum Abezrat Yisrael Ufedechin umecha Yehuda ve Yisrael. Goleinu, goleinu, Adonai tzevaot shemo kidosh Yisrael. Baruch Ata Adonai Gal Gal Yisrael Rise for the tefillah on page 166. Adonai 
Grüße von Tai Tiftach, Ufia Gitte Hilatecha. Adonai, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avoteinu, Veimoteinu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha'el, ha'gadol, ha'gibor, ve'hanora. El elion, gomel chasadim tovim, ve'konei ha'kol. Ve'zocher, chasde avod ve'imahot, u'mevi ge'ula alivnei v'neihem. Leman Shemo Beahava. Magen Avraham Bezra Atzara. Amen. Atagibor Leolam Adonai Mechaye Hakol Ata Rav Lehoshia. Morid hatal, mechal kel chayim bechesed, mechaye hakol berachamim rabim, somech noflim berofei cholim, umatir asurim. Umekayem emunato lishene afar Michamolcha baal gevurot umido melach Melech meimitu mechaye umatmiach yeshua Chamocha el harachamim zocher yetsurav lechaim berachamim v'neemanata lehachayot hakol. Baruch atah Adonai, mechaye hakol. Amen. Kol atah rav lehoshia, morid atah. 
מכל כל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופאי חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מחמוך בעל גבורות ומדום אלך. מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע. מחמוך אל הרחמים זוכר יצוריו לחיים בר... The Unatana Tokef prayer did not bother me. I thought it described the reality of the world around us. who by fire and who by water, who by famine and who by drought. People do die in all of these ways. When I was younger, I believed in a God who had a strong presence in our day-to-day -day lives and thought that while each action we take might not be scripted for us, the overarching journey and destination were set. Now I am not so certain. Over the past few years, these words began to stick in my throat a little more. They are laden with new meaning. This year, I am reflecting on a teaching by Rabbi Rachel Goldenberg. She shares the following. I know that I need to say these words, especially this year. Since COVID hit, the curtain has been pulled back in a big way, revealing the truth that is always there, the truth that this prayer forces us to confront. Each of us truly is a shattered urn, grass that must wither, a particle of dust floating on the wind. Rabbi Goldenberg speaks to the core of our being. We are not invincible. Our time on this earth is finite. There are forces greater than us, and no matter how we try to bring order to our world, much of it is beyond our control. There is some beauty in this truth, though. She continues, When we sit with the truth of our vulnerability, the fragility of this life, that is when it feels most precious. And from that place of knowing how precious this all is, we are moved to pray from an even more genuine place, to do real teshuva in our relationships and on our behalf of our community. Let us take in these words, thinking of both the stark reality and the beauty of the moments we do have in this life. Let it be our wake-up call to live more fully. Please turn to page 174. And so let these words of sanctity ascend to you, for you are our God and sovereign. Unetaneto kef Kedushat hayom Unetaneto kef Kedushat hayom Ki hu nora vayom Thank you. 
awakes deepest awe and inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love. Your reign is a reign of truth. In truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness. You inscribe and seal. You record and recount. You remember all that we have forgotten. And when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself. For every human hand leaves its mark an imprint like no other. We turn to page 176. We read together. And so a great shofar will cry, Tekiah, a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a world of fear and trembling will say, behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes, even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you like sheep before their shepherd. As a shepherd considers the flock when it passes beneath the staff, you count and consider every life. You say bounds, you decide destiny, you inscribe judgments. We turn to page 179. On Rosh Hashanah, we plunge like swimmers into a sea of words. On Yom Kippur, the sea rises <laughs> and crests. Uh, the new year, and we emerge, sealed by the wax, warmed by the fire of braided candle. The new year is like a trailhead, opening wide before us, the day of fasting, narrow and breathless, so quick to close. We contemplate a new year, and this we know. Some of us will live, and some of us will die. Some will die young, and some very old. Some by water, and some by fire. Some by sword, and some by beast. Some by hunger, and some by thirst. Some by plague, and some by earthquake some by stoning and some by strangling. Some of us will feel at ease, some will be restless, some will have peace of mind, some will have strife, some will be tranquil, some will be tormented, some will be raised high, some will be brought low, some will have riches and some will be impoverished. Even so, the way we act, the way we speak, the way we meet God's image in ourselves and in others, these things have great power to make our lives matter. 
Therefore, let us make whole the broken shards, green and thick with wither the withering grass. Let the wind fill us with urgency for life. Let dreams give birth to justice and goodness. God of holiness, God of hope, let us glimpse your truth as we attach our hope to yours. We continue on the top of 178 with a singing of Barosh Hashanah, then at the top of 180 into Uteshuvah. righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. We read together, you, you are everything, everything that, that we praise, praise you for, slow to anger, quick to, to forgive. forgive. You do, do not wish the death, death of sinners, sinners but, but urge them to return from their ways and live. Until the day of death, you wait, wait for them. them. You, accept you accept them at once and they return. Since you created us, you, you know our impulses. impulses. We are, we are but, but flesh, flesh and, and blood. blood. We continue with page 182. We who are mortal, our origin is dust and so is our end. We wear out our lives to get our bread, like broken vessels, like withered grass, like a flower that must fade. A shadow moving on, a cloud passing by, mere dust on the wind, a dream that flies away. We read together. But for, but for you, you ever-living ever sovereign, sovereign, time has, has no limits. limits. Your presence, unbounded by days and years, is everywhere. A glorious mystery none can decipher. Your name is worthy of you, and you are worthy of your name. In our name, you have linked with yours. We turn to page 184 and rise for the Kedusha. Nekadesh, 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 Shimecha Baolam, Nekadesh, Shimecha Baolam, Keshem Shemak di Shimoto. Bishme Marom Kakatu Valia Nevieha Vekaraze El Seve Amar Kados 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 Adonai Seva Adir, 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 Adonai, 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 Ma Adir, Ma Adir, Shimcha bechol haaretz. Ah, 
Adonai. Adonai Eloheichem Im Loch Adonai Leolam Eloheich Nagid God Lacha, Ulanetzak Netzachim, Kedushat Ha, Naktish, Vashiv Chacha, Elohenu, Mipinu, Lo Yamush, Leolam Vaed, Ki El Melech Gadol, the Kadosh Ata. The Eternal shall reign for all time, your God for all generations, Zion, Hallelujah. We will teach your greatness, Lador Vador, from generation to generation. And to the end of time, we will affirm your holiness. Our God, your praise shall ever be on our lips, for your power is boundless, sovereign, and holy. Please turn to page 189. You may be seated. So we imagined ourselves, vineyard of God, a thriving olive tree, fair and verdant, laden with fruit will read responsively. While the world despised or ignored us, our sages gave us a dream. As, As a, a vineyard, vineyard is guarded and lovingly tended, tended, so through our wanderings God has cared for our people. As olives yield their oil only when pressed, so the people of Israel shows its greatness when oppressed. Other liquids mix with one another, olive oil does not, so Israel stands apart a people dwelling alone. The nations demeaned us and cast us away. We took shelter in stories of honor and love. They called us to the vanquished. They called us the vanquished, rejected by God. But we knew ourselves blessed and cherished by you. We carry our own truth through all of our journeys. Our dream of kavod, a place of respect among the nations, life and strength for our people, light and peace for our holy land. Please turn to page 192. You and you alone, Adonai, will reign over creation. Upon Mount Zion, home of your presence, and in Jerusalem, a city set apart by you. As the psalmist believed, Adonai will reign eternally. Your God, Zion, for all generations, hallelujah. Kadosh Ata Venora Shemecha Venelo Mi Baladecha Kahakatu Vayigba Adonai Tsevo Bamishpot Vahel Hakadosh Nikdash Bitsedaka Baruch Ata Adonai Blessed are you, Adonai, Holy Sovereign. Please turn to page 195 as we read responsively. Why am I different from all others? I cried in my loneliness. In a thousand children's voices piped. Why are we different from all other people? But there are no two stones alike in all the universe of pebbles. No two Difference is the mark of the hand of the Creator, and evolution is God's handiwork. Each of us is meant to be ourselves, and each people to be created in its own way. 
We are different in a universe of differences, swimming in the moving waters of history. The Jews want to be a warm current in an icy river. We want to create a climate for living things. Let us have courage to be thankful for our differences. Let us pray for strength to accept our obligations. We turn to page 196. Eloheinu v'elohei avotenu v'imotenu, our God and God of the generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness. Together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel, may we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace on this day of remembrance. Zochreinu Arunai Eloheinu Bolitova. Amen. Uvogdenu Volivracha. Amen. Veoshinu Volachayim. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Be mindful of us. Amen. And redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. We are now going to turn to the first section of the shofar service that speaks to the majesty of the divine. The sounds of the shofars are like the sound of trumpets declaring God's rule. We who are God's servants bow low during what we are about to do, which is the great Elenu. In all life, we must serve something. Sometimes we serve ourselves and our own desires but also we serve that which is greater than ourselves. We can serve our families, our communities, our nation. We acknowledge in these moments that we serve that which is greater than ourselves and we bow low. It's now a joy to invite those who serve our community in meaningful ways. It's a pleasure to call upon Jeff Berlin and Linda Berlin to step forward as they open up the ark doors for the great Elenu. Please rise now as we turn to page 202. On page 203, we continue with our service as we 
wish each day to bestir ourselves, as indeed we listen to the sound of the shofar to be bestirred, to do that which is honorable. There are two terms that are significant in our days, COVID, we know what that refers to, and the Hebrew word kavod, COVID and kavod. They're not related, but they are opposites. COVID, a symbol of despair, and kavod means to honor others. No matter what happens in our lives, the shofar service reminds us to bestir ourselves to do that which is noble and honorable. And so we awake from the difficulties of this past 19 months to bestir ourselves to do that which is noble. Page 203, we pray responsively. Awake, you sleepers, from your sleep. Rouse yourselves from your slumber. Awake like Israel at the sea to the joyful song of Miriam and Moses. Sing to the Eternal, for God has surged in triumph. The Eternal shall reign forever and ever. Awake like Israel at Sinai to the dignity of being God's partners. You shall be for me a holy nation, a sovereign community of priests. Examine your deeds and return to God. Remember your Creator, you who are caught up in the daily routine, losing sight of eternal truth, you who waste your years in vain pursuits that neither profit nor save. Hear the rousing call to repentance. With trumpets and the blast of shofar, raise a shout for the, the sovereign. Hear and know the truth of a higher power. God is sovereign, robed in majesty. God is clothed with strength, so the world stands firm and cannot be shaken. On page 206. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher kiddishanu b'mitzvotav V'tsivanu lishmo akol shofar Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'kiemanu V'higianu l'azman Source of blessing eternal, our God, you fill the universe with majestic might, summoning us to hear the sound of the shofar. Tiki Shivarim Tikiyah Shivarim Tikiyah Tikiyah Teruah Tekiya Page 207 Today the world is born anew This day the whole of creation stands before you to be judged As we are your children love us in the way of mothers and fathers As we are yours in service Guide us by the light of your justice, grace, and holiness. Page 208. 
at the bottom of the page, we join in a bracha. Baruch Ata Adonai, Melech al Kol Haaretz, Mekadesh Yisrael, Veyom Hazikaron. Our praise to you, Eternal One, whose power pervades all the earth. You bring holiness to the people Israel and to this day of remembrance. Eternal our God, your people Israel yearns for your favor. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamachazir Shechinato Litzion. Blessed are you whose divine presence is felt again in Zion. On page 211, a meaningful and significant meditation. To our sages who toiled, to the one who chopped wood, to the one who raised cattle, to the storekeeper, the cobbler, and the one who sold salt, to the one who brewed beer and the one who filled casks of wine, to the tailor, to the teacher, to the dealer in cotton, to the one who scrubbed clothing, to the keeper of vines, to the merchant of silk, to the one who plowed fields, to the builder of houses, to the doctors and scribes, to the blacksmith, to the tanner, to the digger of graves. Let us give thanks for a tradition that sanctifies work. Let us honor those who toil and sustain the world in noble and humble ways. We acknowledge those whose labor goes unnoticed, and we praise the strength of their hands and the dedications of their hearts. As so we turn now to the next page, page 212. And for all these gifts, God of majesty, may your name come to be blessed and praised. Our gratitude, a daily offering until the end of time. Inscribe your covenant partners for life of goodness. And may all life resound with gratitude and faith and praise of your name. God, you free us and strengthen us as we pray together. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulacha Na'el Lahodot. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose goodness deserves thanks and praise. We continue now on page 214. Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu. Barachenu baracha hamashuleshet hakatuva batorah v'amura mibnei hakohanim. Am kodshecha ka'amur. And if any of you are Kohanims or Bat Kohanim, a daughter or a son of the Kohanim, and if it's your custom to create the sign of the Kohen, both hands, you can join with me in saying these priestly benedictions in the middle of the page, which starts with Yivarechacha. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmarecha, we all say, Kain yehi ratzon, Yair Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha, Kain yehi ratzon, Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom, Kain yehi ratzon. As we turn now to page 216, and pray for peace.
Adonai Eloheinu Torat Chaim Ve'ahavat Chesed U'tzedakah U'verachah Ve'rachamim Ve'chaim Ve'shalom we take these ta- this time for silent reflection. Shana Tova, everyone. Shana Tova. We now are going to turn to the introduction of Avinu Malkenu, which can be found on page 222. And it's a great joy to call upon Bill and Debbie Gartenberg to come forward and open up our ark doors. That's one of 222. We rise now together. Loving Father, infinite power, gentle, forgiving, lofty, uh, inscrutable. Avinu Malkenu. Compassionate Mother, omnipotent Lord, comforting presence, fathomless mystery. Avinu Avinu Malkenu. 
our rock and redeemer, life of the universe, close to us always, impossibly far. Avinu Malkeinu. Embracing, confounding, accepting our frailty, decreeing our end. Avinu Malkeinu. None of these are true, none of them are you, yet we stand as though before us have stood, summoned to judgment, longing for love. Avinu Malkeinu. May these words be a bridge, they come from our hearts, may they lead us to you. Avinu Malkeinu, Shema Koleinu. Avinu Malkeinu, Almighty and Merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkeinu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkeinu, we have strayed in sin before you. Avinu Malkeinu, Chamol Aleinu Ve'al Ol Aleinu Vitapenu. Avinu Malkeinu, have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkeinu, Kale Dever Vechere Ve'ra'av Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkeinu, halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkeinu, Kale Kold Sar Umastin Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkeinu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkeinu, kodvenu besefer chayim tovim. Avinu Malkeinu, enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkeinu, chadesh aleinu shana tova. Avinu Malkeinu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkeinu, chonenu ve'anenu ki en banu ma'asim. Ase imanu tzedaka v'chesed v'hoshienu. Avinu Malkeinu, Almighty and Merciful, answer us with grace for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love.
turn now to page 228 for Seder Kriyat Torah for our Torah service. Adonai, Adonai, Erachum v'chanun, Erech ha'paim v'rav chesed v'emet, Notzer chesed l'alafim, Nose avon v'afesha, V'chata'a v'nakeh. Adonai, Adonai, God, compassionate, gracious, endlessly patient, loving and true, showing mercy to the thousandth generation, forgiving evil, defiance, and wrongdoing, granting pardon. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Kadol Adoneinu Kadosh Venora Shemo Adonai, un ero mema, shemo yachtav. Lecha Adonai ha-gedula, ve-ha-gevura, ve-ha-tiferet, ve-ha-netzach, ve-ha-chod. Kicho b'ashamayim uvaretz, Kicho b'ashamayim uvaretz, Lecha Adonai ha-mamlacha, Ve-hamit nase lecho. The Torah portion for Rosh Hashanah can be found on page 240, the Akedat Yitzchak, and it's a joy to call upon our, our Torah reader, Susie Rosengarten, to step forward, as well as our first Aliyah, it's a joy to call upon Howard Zeft. Um, the Torah portion that speaks of, of Akedat Yitzchak is a reminder to us that God does not demand that we sacrifice our children, the generations to come that we have responsibilities to infuse them with knowledge and understanding of what it takes to survive as a people as well as survive within this world, whether it's to make sure that the world is sustained for generations to come or to make sure that our young people understand their history and culture so that we can have a future. All the people that we're calling forward for Aliyot today uh, are ones that understand uh, that it is so important and so essential uh, to make sure that there is a next generation. It's a joy to share in these moments with you. And so we turn to our first Aliyah. <laughs> Venasan lanu et Torah so, Baruch atah adonai no tain ha Torah. Amen. Amen. Vayhi achar hadvarim ha'ele ve'ha'alohim nisat Avraham Vayomer lav Avraham, vayomer hineni, vayomer kachna et binchat yechidecha asher ahavta et yitzchak velech lecha el eretz hamoriha. 
Asher my lecha, Vayash came Avraham Papo care, Vayahavo shed Hamaro, Vayikah, Echenein Ravito, Vet eats Hak Bino, Viva Kahat Seola, Vayakam Vayelech. El Hamakom Asher Maloha Elohim, Bayom Hashlishi, Baisa Avraham et Enab, Bayarat Hamakom Erachok, Bayomer Avraham El Nearab, Shivulechem Po im Hachamor. The Ani Vehana Nelha Adko Vinishtaha Vevena Shuva Alehem Vaika Abraham et Atseha Ola Vayasem Ayitrak Benaho Vaika Beato et Haesh Beat Hama Helet Vayal Hushene. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Natalanu Torah Emet Vechaye Olam Natash Etocheinu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Yechakach, that was a beautiful Aliyah. And now it is a joy to call upon Lise Moulton for our second Aliyah. And Lise is uh, one of a member of our congregation who has started a Dayenu circle here at Congregation Shalom, and you'll be hearing a little bit more about that uh, shortly. It's wonderful to share in these celebratory moments with you too, Lise. <laughs> Amen. 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 Avi Vayomer Hineni Veni Vayomer Hineha Eshveha Eitzim Vayaya Seleola Vayomer Avraham Elohim Yere Loha Se Leola Beni Vayel Hushnehem Yachtav Vayavo el hamakom asher maloha elohim vayiven sham avraham et hamizbeach vayaroch et haetzim vayakod et itzach benoh vayaseh moto al hamizbeach mima ala etzim vayishlach avraham Et yado, vayikach et hamaachelet, ilishchot et beno, vayikra alav mal aachadonai min hashamayim, vayomer Avraham, Avraham, vayomer hineni, vayomer al tishlach yadecha. El Hanar, the Alta Aslo, Meuma, Ki Yata Yadati, Ki Re Elohim Ata, the Loha Sahta, Epincha et Yehidha, Mi Mani. Yes, 
Yishar Koach, a beautiful Aliyah, beautiful chanting of Torah. You can hear so much that's in the balance in this Torah portion and the tension that exists. God does not demand sacrifices of the next generation. It is an important concept for us within the Jewish community and the world to hear that we don't demand sacrifices of our next generation. Rather, we lift them up. We lift them up. We make sure that there is a next generation. And so it is important to hear and dwell on these words. And all those who are committed to making sure that that next generation exists, whether it is through a sense of environmentalism, through a sense of spiritual nourishment that is provided to others, and whether it's through the continuity of Jewish life here at Congregation Shalom, all these people, all of you, are committed to performing those acts of graciousness and love. It is a truly a joy uh, to work with Linda. I can speak for all of the staff when I say that she is deserving of this honor. And Cantor Perper is, I guess, you know, within the second year of his cantorate, but the first in this building uh, with all of us. And that is reason to celebrate, not just the way that he sings so beautifully, but the fact that he's a mensch and can speak with a sense of spirituality as well. It is a joy to share in these moments with, with the two of you and with the entire staff. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim V'natan Lanu et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Yomer Yitzchak El Avraham Aviv Vayomer Avi Vayomer Hineni Vini Vayomer Hinei Ha'esh Ve'ha'etzim Ve'ayi Ha'seh Le'olah Vayomer Avraham Elohim Yere lo ha se le o la ha beni, veil hushne hem yachta vaya vo el hamakom asher amalo ha elohim vay ven sham avraham et hamiz beach vaya aroch et ha etzim. Vayakod et Yitzchak ben Naho, Vayasem oto al hamizbeach, Mima al la etzim, Vayishlach Avraham et Yadoho, Vayikach et hamachelet lishot et binoho, Vayikra alav malach, Adonai min hashamayim, Vayomer Avraham, Avraham, Vayomer Hineni, Vayomer Al Tishlach Yadacha El Hanar, the Alta Aslo Meuma, Ki Ata Yadati, Ki Elohim Ata. Velo ha sahta et bin ha et yahid ha mi meni. Baruchata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu Torah temet, Vichaye olam nata betochenu, Baruchata Adonai, no ten ha Torah. To you both continue with great strength. And now it's a joy to call upon our third Aliyah, Susie Rosengarten, who has been our Torah reader for many, many years. But not just that, Susie is someone who in, really imbues Torah not only within her own life but to the next generation, whether it's through her work at the Milwaukee Jewish Federation or in our religious school, in our Hebrew school continuity of Jewish values and Torah and making sure that the next generation knows it is so essential and important to 
who we are. And Susie is someone who brings that sweetness to that next generation. So Susie, it's a joy to share these moments with you. Baruch Hu Adonai HaMavorach Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim Benatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Vais Avraham et Enav, Vayar vehine ahil achar, Naachas bas vach bekarnav, Vayelech Avraham vayikach et ahil, Vayaleu leolatachat beno, Vayikra Avraham, Shem HaMakom HaHu Adonai Yireh Asher Yehamayr HaYom Behar Adonai Yireh Vayikra Malach Adonai El Avraham Shenit Min HaShamayim Vayomer Binishvati Neum Adonai Ki Ya'an asher asita et hadavar hazeh Velo chasta et bincha et yechidecha Kivarecha varechecha Beharba arbeh et zarecha kechokveh hashamayim Vechachol asher asifat hayam Virash zaharacha et sha'ar oivav Vihit baruchu vizaharacha Chol goye haaretz Ekev asher shamata bekoli Vayashav araham el ne'arav Vayakumu Vayelchu yachdav el be'er shava Vayeshev avraham bile'er shava Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lanu Torah temet Vechaye olam nata betochenu Baruch atah Adonai noten haTorah Amen. Yes, your koach, Susie, is always a beautiful, beautiful Torah reading. It's now a joy to call upon those who uplift Torah. It's a joy to call upon Josh Meskin and Carrie Meskin to lift and bind the Torah. You can find that on page 246. To go from simcha to simcha with you is always a joy, as we were just gathered together to celebrate Michael's bar mitzvah, uh, becoming a bar mitzvah, and it feels like moments ago that it was also uh, Riley's b'nai mitzvah. It's really wonderful to be together. Josh is one of our members of our reopening committee and our board of directors who has allowed us and really made it so that we can navigate the difficulties and the challenges of this year in a way that is healthy and safe for all. We owe him a debt of gratitude as we owe all of our leadership, particularly those who are serving in the reopening committee capacity. So you lift uh, uplift Torah and we turn to page 246 and we rise together as we lift and bind our Torah scroll. Israel al pi Adonai beyad Moshe. Torah ora, Torah ora, Hallelujah. Torah ora, Torah ora, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Torah ora, Torah ora, Hallelujah. 
돌아오라 돌아오라 할렐루야 We turn now to our Haftorah for today, which can be found in your Machzor on page 250, and it's a joy to call upon Rick Paler, who is an extraordinary tutor within our community, bringing many young people to Torah, whether it's here at Congregation Shalom or at Milwaukee Jewish Day School, or whether it's chanting Haftorah for us on Shabbat mornings. Rick, it is always a pleasure to hear you chant so beautifully and bring Torah and Haftorah to the lives of our next generation. Thank you, Rick. Shana Tova. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bachar, Binvim Tovim, Ratzav Adivrehem, Anemarim Bemed Baruch Atonai Abocher Batorah Uv Moshe Avdo Uv Yisrael Amo Bin Vie Hoemed Vatsedek Vayehi Ishechad min haramatayim Tzofim mehar Ephraim Ushmo Elkanah Ben Yerocham Ben Elihu Ben Tohu Ben Suf Ephrati Velo Shete Nashim Shem achar chana v'shem hashenit penina v'yehi lifnina yeladim ulachana en yeladim v'yala ha'ish ha'hu meiro miyamim. Yamim al hishtachavod velizboach laranai tzvaot beshilom v'sham shenei v'neili chafni ufin echas kohanim laranai v'yehi hayom. Vayizbach el kana benatan lifnina ishto ulachol baneha uvenoteha manot ulachana yiten manachat apayim ki et kana ahev. Varanai sagar rachma, v'chiasata tsarata gam kaas bavur harima. Ki sagar aranai be'ad rachma, v'chen yasem shana v'shana mite alota bevet aranai. Kain tachisena vativke velo tochal vayomer la elkana isha chana la metivki vela melo tochli vela me yira levavech halo anochi. Tov lach 
מהסרבנים, ואתה קם חנה אחרי אכלה ושילה ואחרי שעתו ואלי הכהן יושב על הכיסא על מזוזת היכל אדוני והיא מרת נפש ותתפלל על אדוני ובכה תבכה ותדור נדר ותאמר אדוני צבאות אם רעו תראה בעני אמרתך וזכרתני ולא תשכח את אמרתך ונתת על אמרתך זרע אנשים ונתתיו לאדוני כל ימי חיה ומורה לא יעלה על ראשו והיה כי הרבתה להתפלל לפני אדוני ואלי שומר את פיה וחנה היא מדברת על ליבה רק שפתיה נאות וקולה לא יישמע וישביה אלי לשיכורה ויאמר אליה אלי עד מתי תשתכרין הסירי את ינך מעלייך ותן חנה ותאמר לא אדוני אישה כשר רוח אנוכי ויין ושיכר לא שתיתי ואשפוך את נפשי לפני אדוני אל תיתן את אמתך לפני בת בליעל כי מרוב שיחי וחסי דיברתי עד הנה ויענה לי ויאמר לכי לשלום ואלוהי ישראל ייתן את שאלתך אשר שאלת מימו ותאמר תמצא שפחתך חן בעיניך ותלך האישה לדרכה ותאכל ופניה לא היו לה עוד וישכימו בבוקר וישתחוו לפני אדוני וישובו ויבואו אל ביתם הרמתה וידע אל קנה את חנה אשתו ויזכריה אדוני ויהי לתקופות הימים ותהר את חנה ותלד בן ותקרא את שמו שמואל כי מאדוני שאילתיב ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם צור כל העולמים צדיק בכל הדורות הואל הנאמן האומר ויוסף המדבר ומקיים שכל דבריו אמת וצדק על התורה ועל העבודה ועל הנביאים ועל יום הזיכרון הזה שנתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו לכבוד ולתפארת 
Al Hakom Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu Modim Lach Umvarachim Otach Yidbarei Shimcha Befi Cholchai Tamid Leolam Voed Udvaracha Emet Vekayam Laad Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Al-Kol Ha'art Mekadesh Yisrael Fiyom Hazikaron Amen Yashar Koach Yashar Koach, thank you so much, Rick, for chanting so beautifully for us the Haftarah portion this morning. Give me a second. I seem to have misplaced my page. Uh, here we go. So we're turning to page 267. God of remembrance, remember the covenant of our ancestors. We reaffirm it today. Remember, we are a people of noble ideals. Help us attain them. Remember all your people, all the nations on the road to peace and bless their efforts. Remember with mercy the binding of Isaac, the sorrow of Sarah, Abraham's words, here I am. Ki zocher kol hanishkachot atahu me'olam. Ve'ein shichacha lifnei chisech vodecha, baruch ata Adonai, zocher habrit. Blessed are you, Adonai, you remember the covenant, you remember us. Please turn to page 268 for the blessings of the shofar. And please rise. Tekia. Shivarim Terua Tikia Tikia Shivarim Tekia Tekia Terua Tekia Thank you, Ben, for that. The prophet said, cry aloud, Lift up your voice like a shofar. This is the meaning of the verse. See yourself as a shofar, an instrument of the divine. Do not take pride in your virtue or the power of your deeds. With every mitzvah you do, every act of intellect, goodness, and love, God's spirit breathes through you. Please turn to page 276. Yahalalu et Shem Adonai, Kinis Gav Shemo Levado. All praise God's name, for God alone is truly sublime.
Please turn now to page 282. That's page 282. Eloheinu velohe avotenu vimotenu. God revealed to us and to our fathers and mothers before us, God of revelation. Play the song of our freedom on the great shofar. Let your banner fly over the gathering of our exiles. Bring back the dispersed. Let those who are scattered find their way home. Let joyful songs of Zion greet us in Jerusalem, your holy city, the place of our people's eternal happiness. Please turn to page 284 as we join together in the blessings over the shofar. Baruch Ata Adonai, Shomea Kol Truat Mo Yisrael Berachamim. Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, true voice of your people, Israel. Tekia. Shivarim Trua Tekia Tekia Shivarim Tekia Tekia Trua Tekia Gedola Please be seated. The shofar blowing is always a highlight of our service, and we thank Ben Marins and Matt Hoddingman for their spectacular debut in this role. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for more than just sounding the notes, but living lives dedicated to the Jewish values that we hold so dear. Roughly 3,000 years ago, while sitting around a fire, a young child turned to their parent and asked, what is all of this? What is this vastness that is our world, this plane of human experience, land and sea and sky that seems to be without end? Though our ancestors were not scientists, they did have wisdom to share. So they searched their hearts and minds with divine inspiration. They shared a story that every child should hear a conception of the world where humanity was positioned at the center of all things. Out of nothingness, wild and waste, a great sentient power shaped and formed order from chaos, separated light from darkness, the sky from sea, formed the earth and plants and trees, adorned the sky with sun and moon and stars, providing warmth and light, pushing back the darkness. This world was vast, but soon would be filled with creatures of the air and sea and land. Then, this world teeming with life and light was addressed by that great sentient power that spoke these words. Let us together make an earthling. Let us make humanity in our image after our likeness and let it have dominion over all that is created. And when we were formed from that earth and all that was created before us, 
We were instructed to be fruitful and multiply. And it was then that God saw that what had been created was very good and God rested. But that story never fully satisfied because it left out our purpose. And the questions of children keep coming. And perhaps as the child matured, new questions arose about why we live in this vast and beautiful world. And so new answers emerged. We who were formed from the earth and received the breath of the divine, we who were made with the help of all creation, were placed into a spectacular garden where we would be given the responsibility to tend the garden, to appreciate its goodness, and to sustain it. But all things change, and we were sent out into the vastness of the world. We left the garden to spread out over the earth, an earth that was stretched beyond the horizons, where our cradle was rocked by a gentle breeze, and the sun and the moon and the stars circled us dutifully, with humanity at its center. All of this, all of it was created for us. We were once a part of the garden. All of creation was our brother, our sister, for within our very being is the sun and moon and stars, light and darkness, earth and sky, and the animals with whom God helped form humanity into a mosaic of all life. These teachings come from ancient wisdom. They are far from science. We know that the world is not truly 5,782 years of age as of today. This mythic story is not what we find in the books of scientific inquiry. These are not the words of scientists who who more accurately describe the formation of our universe, our galaxy, and our planet Earth. But this expression of deep wisdom that we are reminded of as we turn the page into a new year and celebrate that this is the birthday of the world calls us to remember that this is our Jewish Earth Day, our celebration of creation, our exuberance at existence, and our reflection on renewal. I want to share with you an image. It comes from the Voyager spacecraft taken on February 14th, 1990. If you can see it, and if you can, you don't need glasses, you can see a little blue dot. That dot is us. The mission objective of the Voyager Interstellar Mission, which continues today, is to extend NASA's exploration of the solar system beyond the neighborhood of our outer planets to the outer limits of the sun's sphere of influence, and possibly beyond. But on that day in 1990, the Voyager spacecraft, the farthest human-made object, took the farthest selfie we have ever taken. This picture makes me feel very small like dust and ashes. This picture also makes me feel concerned because the science that allowed us to take this extraordinary selfie is also teaching us that we have been poor gardeners of late and we are failing in our responsibilities. This is our home. We have no other. It is small and it is precious and we are failing to tend to it. There are many very important topics for us to discuss today. This year hasn't made it easy to choose from among the many vital spiritual lessons that we need right now. Every year, I think of a list of ideas I wish to share with you. And every year, I ask myself, are these timely or timeless? Is it reflective of our people's concerns or hopes or dreams? Will the words that are shared help lead a person to a better life or a deeper connection with the holiness in our lives? And in years past, our relationship with our environment has always been on the list, but seemed less important than the rest, and so it would fall to the wayside, and just always seemed less pressing and less of a danger, less important and less edifying, I realize now that fact is a reflection of how we human beings too often take for granted what is most important. And I realize now that my complacency in this regard is a reflection of our inability to recognize danger until it is urgently staring us in the face. But danger is staring us in the face, and our situation is urgent. Our High Holiday Liturgy is filled with warnings. It poses questions that are at times hard to hear. One of those questions posed during the Unatana Tokef prayer asks the following. 
Who by fire and who by water? If we needed a reminder of the urgency of this question, we need only cast our attention to the news. Even in recent weeks, so many have lost their homes, their livelihoods, and their very lives in hurricanes and floods in the south and in the east. So many have watched their homes and precious possessions go up in smoke in the west. So many have lost so much in fire and in water. We need to face facts. Our climate is changing, and we are seeing the consequences. In my childhood, I remember feeling concerns when we were told that if we didn't make drastic changes, the result would be that in a few decades we would see terrible results. And while I was in my childhood concerned about this mildly apocalyptic projection, I felt some relief when I realized I would be an old man of 40 when those disasters were expected to take place. Well, these disasters we are seeing now. Well, I turned 43 last month, and I don't feel that old despite what my children might say. And scientists are now making new projections about what the world will look like in the next 30 years. The United Nations is releasing significant findings pertaining to the dangers that climate change presents to humanity. And let me tell you, I feel no sense of relief like I did when I was a child, that the terrible consequences of our inaction will bring more destruction, pain, and suffering in the decades to come. Not when I look into the eyes of my children or I look into the faces of your children and your grandchildren as they set out on their journeys of life. In moments such as these, moments of crisis, I've always looked to the wisdom of our tradition to point a way. The story of Genesis, it fills me up. It makes me feel as though all of this was created just for me. The image from Voyager fills me with wonder at the enormity of it all, but also makes me feel as though I am a speck in the vastness of space and time, like dust and ashes. But neither feeling is entirely a bad thing if they are allowed to exist in balance with each other. A great Hasidic rabbi named Simcha Bunim shared a powerful teaching over 120 years ago. He said, everyone must have two pockets with a note in each pocket so that he or she can reach into one or the other depending on the need. When feeling lonely and depressed, discouraged or disconsolate, one should reach into the right pocket and there find the words, Bishvili nivra ha'ulam, the world was created for me. But when feeling high and mighty, one should reach into the left pocket and find the words of Anochi Afar Ve'efer, I am but dust and ashes. We need both pockets to live a life of balance, reaching into one and not the other. That could lead us to destruction. So let us reach into one pocket. All of this was created just for me. When the world seemed limitless and we were at the center of it all, when the sun, the moon, and stars revolved around us, the world was ours to subdue. We could tame the beasts, plant our crops to stave off hunger. We could shelter ourselves from the storms. As we advanced in our knowledge, we made wondrous discoveries. We learned to make machines that ran off the remains of life from Earth's past. We strove for the moon and stepped upon it. We strive for Mars and beyond. We build massive buildings that scrape the sky. We, the children of Adam, have harnessed the Adam. We cure diseases, feed numbers that would have been unimaginable in the past. However, the world, once gloriously large, has become smaller, but our ambition for more is never quelled. Now there are fewer frontiers, and this world created just for us, we are discovering it has its limits. The energy that allows us to power our lives sends toxins into the air and warms our earth beyond our ability to control. And we have become, a di become distant from the natural world from which we emerged. The garden feels very far away. But what remains is a confidence that we who bear the breath of the divine we who were created in harmony with all life and existence, we are imbued with everything we need to find a path to the future. We can make our way because all of this was created just for us. Now let us reach into the other pocket. I am merely dust and ashes. One of the great spiritual truths of this moment of gathering for the high holidays is that we are in communion. 
not just with each other, we who are bound together in space, but we are also in communion with the generations that precede us, bound together through time. We are a link in a sacred chain of tradition, and like hands that reach out to hands, we are spiritually reaching with words and with deeds to those generations that have stood in our place with hopes and dreams for our future. They've returned to dust and ashes, to the earth from which we emerged, but their dreams for us their hopes remain ever-present. They are written on our hearts and our minds. We also know that our time on this earth is limited. We will pass on, and what we leave to the next generations, that will define us. Understanding our place and our connections through the ages, and even our own mortality, is all a powerful aid in setting things right. But if we believe that we are only dust and ashes and that our actions can't bring positive change because we're too small or too insignificant to meet the overwhelming challenges that confront us, then we might become frozen, unable to see in ourselves the potential good that we can bring. If we only reach into that pocket of dust and ashes, then we will certainly fail. But we are not powerless. Rather, we are powerful. We are able to change. We are more than dust and ashes. We must find balance. We are dust and ashes, and we are the center of all creation. And our answers can be found in both pockets. I want to share with you some wisdom that comes from the indigenous community, a people whose land we stand on today. There's a profound understanding that what we do now impacts the generations to come. In a beautiful text from the Seneca Nation, we learn the following. When you sit in council for the welfare of the people, you must not think of yourself or of your family, not even of your generation. Make your decisions on behalf of the seven generations coming so that they may enjoy what you have today. Right now, the question of whether seven generations from now there will be people gathering to commemorate the birthday of our world is an open one. However, with vision and with action, I believe we can tip the scales for the generations that will follow. And here's how. Congregation Shalom is a home amidst our homes. We've always endeavored to study and teach the ethical and spiritual ideals of Judaism and to integrate these ideals into the present day world. And so I propose the following. Let our physical plant, our physical sanctuary, be as environmentally friendly as possible. Let us strive to reduce our congregation's energy consumption. Let's reduce, reuse, and recycle our waste. Let us find innovative ideas from gardens to solar to highlight what can be a more balanced way of life. And let us take moments through prayer and meditation to appreciate nature as a community so that our appreciation and spiritual connection can inspire us to conserve what we have. Let these acts inspire our community to think about their own homes as sanctuaries that are in balance with the nature that surrounds us. But some of what we must do takes community and collective action, which is why I'm proud of our congregation's efforts to establish a Dayenu Circle at Shalom. I want to thank David Wolfson and Lise Moulton for initiating and stewarding this group. Dayenu Circles are a grassroots effort nationally whose mission is to secure a just, livable, and sustainable world for all people for generations to come by building a multi-generational Jewish movement that confronts the climate crisis with spiritual audacity and bold political action. And this group is saying, Dayenu, it's enough. We must change our path to maintain the garden so that it can continue for the next generations. And there are many ways that you can be a part of this circle. At this moment, there are three teams. Team Tikkun Olam, which will look at global and national issues in which we can get involved. Team Ha'ir will look at community and local issues and partner and support organizations doing work in the field of environmental justice and team up with other synagogues, Jewish and interfaith organizations to act. Currently, we are exploring new state legislation that might lead to the construction of a Jewish community solar farm. And there's a team, Hillel, which explores personal actions, whether it be re related to solar, composting, and when acted upon cumulatively, we will make a difference. If you're interested, and I hope you are, 
you can email the congregation at info at kong-shalom.org and we can let you know when meetings are going to take place and when we can take action in ways that are small or large. The story of creation and our responsibilities to this world is profoundly important to me. It was almost nine years ago that I was preparing for Rosh Hashanah when my oldest daughter was born. And though I continued to come to services in that first week of her life, I slept at the hospital every night. And I'll never forget those nights preparing to read Torah for Rosh Hashanah's second day and standing over her crib and chanting, Breshit bara Elohim et hashamayim vet ha'aretz. When God began to create the heavens and the earth. This was the first story I ever read to her. It's the story we read every year on the second day of Rosh Hashanah. It's the story I hope the generations to come will read every year. When the next generation is sitting at our feet, we want them to feel as though all of this was created just for them. And when I look at the generations to come, it's as though the sun and the moon and the stars rotate around them. I know that I'm not different from you in that feeling. And at the same time, we all must realize that our time on this earth is limited, that we are merely dust and ashes. And that should not cause us to despair. That should cause us to act. Act to make the world a place of spiritual growth and spiritual balance, to tend the garden, to live in harmony with the acts of creation we share, and to preserve this world for generations to come. So let me conclude with the image of the little pale blue dot that is planet Earth. At the time the picture was taken, Carl Sagan, the great champion of understanding our universe, expounded on its importance. He said, look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. And though his words speak to the grandness of the universe and the nature of our existence on this planet Earth, he also shared the following, all of this underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. These beautiful words and this image make me feel small, yet precious, filled with awe at the vastness of it all, and yet filled with hope, hope that we can resume our rightful path to tend the garden and watch with satisfaction the emergence of a new day and a new year. Shana Tova. Happy New Year, everyone. Our anthem for this Rosh Hashanah morning, words and music by Josh Nelson, contemporary composer, called Shomea, God Listens. You are standing here beside me, giving light to guide me, lifting me when I am falling. Hear me. Hear these words inside me. Hear my prayer and help me. Answer me when I am calling. Show me a tefillah. Oh, have Israel. Show me. Oh, 
Israel, bless us, bless us with your spirit, heal us with your presence, help us know that you are one. Teach us, teach us to be holy, fill us with compassion till the day that peace has come. Show me a tefillah, O Hevamo Yisrael. Show me a tefillah, O Hevamo Yisrael. I call out to you, will you listen? When I find out that my fears are true, when I'm torn and tired, bent and breaking, will you hear me when I call to you? Shana Tova. Shana Tova, everyone, and we turn now to page 286 for the Grand Alenu, and it's a great honor to call upon Jay and Bridget Sandlow, who will open the ark as we ask the congregation to rise. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet gedula l'yotze breshit Shelo asanu kegoye haratzot Velo samanu kemishpechot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkeinu kahem Vegor aleinu kechol hamonam Vaanachnu koreim Umishtachavim umodim Lifne melech malche hamelachim Hakadosh baruchu Veneemar vehaya Adonai lemelech al kol haaretz bayom hahu bayom hahu ye Adonai echad ushemo 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 echad on page 291 uh, we have a meditation Certainly you can have a seat for a moment before we rise again for Kaddish. Of course, it's at this time when we remember our dear ones and we believe that in some spiritual manner they are with us and always will be. 
And on page 291 is a meditation. There are, ty there are stars up above, so far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. So it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. We remember all of our dear ones uh, who personally will always live on in our hearts. And we say Kaddish for them. We say Kaddish also for all those who have perished during, during this pandemic and the pain that has been felt throughout the world. We also say Kaddish for those individuals who've perished due to war and or terrorism or to disease or to tragedies of weather and destructiveness. Within our congregation, we recall the recent passings, both our congregation and our community. These individuals who have passed in this past week. Ed Asner, Joan Levine, and Stephen Levy. And these individuals who have passed in the last month from Orlando, Florida, Mark Ackerman. And not the person we know here and love here in Milwaukee, but a young man in Orlando, Mark Ackerman. And we recall Stella Burton, Adrian Cadrodimos, Dr. Leslie Sandlow, Bertrand Lubell Stolzer, Norman Sheminsky, Gerald Zupnik. We link their names with these individuals whose yard sites are being observed this week. Jane Allen, David Bauman, Mary Baer, Sam Berlin, Phyllis Holzman Bernstein, Ruth Bernstein, Joseph Blatt, Layla Goldsmith Brasner, Elizaveto Chernia, Ruth Kogan, Saul T. Cohn, Benjamin Davis, Eva Dietz, Jean Dolgan, Sam Essock, Bessie Faldberg, Anna Feller, Pearl Fishman, Sidney Fox, Joey Friedman, Bernard Gale, Max Gellis, Nathan Genlin, Rita Goldberg, Rachel Goldman, Donald Gould, Jack Granoff, Bernice Gratch, Robin Gratch, Phyllis Greenberg, Victor Robert Green, Marion Hahn, S. Roger Hirsch, Joseph Hoffman, Milton Holzman, Phyllis Holzman, Ida Smith Horwitz, Melba Howenstein, Esther Huxley, Miriam Kahn, Eugene Klerfeld, Bertha Kanaz, J. Stuart Codner, Susan Carol Kwepi, Ruth Kosberg, Lionel Lee, Michael S. Lennett, June Beverly Lococo, Rose London, Molly Mahler, Suzanne Marshak, Lawrence J. Meldman, Rose Meldman, Stanley Mendelson, Alice Meyer, Chad Michelow, George Meckler, Paul Moskowitz, Edith Orth, William Ostak, Sylvia Freed Pash, Morris Pivar, Sheldon Plotkin, Saul Pollock, Benjamin Resnick, Edward Rosenberg, Rose Sampson, Rachel Sapiro, Elaine Schwartz, Erwin Schwartz, Sam Seaman, Karen Schlensky, Philip Sklar, Rose Sterren, Raymond Strauss, 
Lois Taus, Leonard David Vogel, Dora Weinstein, and Dr. Harvey M. Wickman. All dear and precious to family, friends, and dear ones. A long list, but a community of people who brought joy and meaning to their families and to each of us. So it's at this point in the service where we rise as a congregation and we join in reciting the sacred words of Kaddish, page 292. Yitzkadal <laughs> Ba'agola uvisman kariv yimru amen. Yehe shme raba mevorach leolam ulome almaya. Yit barach vish tabach vit poar vit bromam vit na se. Vit adar vit ale vit alal shme de kudisha berichu. Lee la minka birchata vishirata. Tush bechata venechemata. Da Amiran bi Alma vi Imru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya, Vechaim Aleinu vi Alkol Yisrael vi Imru, Amen. O se Shalom bim Ramav, Hu ya ase Shalom, Aleinu vi Alkol Yisrael vi Imru, Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn. Comfort to all who are bereaved, as we say, Amen. Amen. seated. It is now a great honor to call upon Brent Arnold, who is a dignified and fine person and is president of our congregation and has given his bountiful talent uh, for years and years to our community. Thank you, Rabbi. Good afternoon, Shalom congregants. It does feel so good to be back praying with you all. Hearing the wonderful sounds of Cantor Purper and our wonderful Shalom Choir again refills my soul. Being led by our wonderful clergy team, seeing the beautiful Torahs coming out and chanted so beautifully, hearing our voices come together in prayer as we look towards what may come in the year ahead. What a blessing it is to enable us to reach this season. I hope the weather takes a turn for the better, but I do look forward to joining in community for our Tosh Leak service later this afternoon at 3.30 at the Brown Deer Park Boathouse. It will be a great chance to see each other once again and reconnect with friends and clergy. Tomorrow, please consider joining us at 10 a.m. for our second day Rosh Hashanah service. We then have the opportunity over the next 10 days to reflect on ourselves, our lives, and who we want to be in, in the days and years ahead. We will then welcome you all back to Shalom on Wednesday, September 15th at either 6 o'clock or 8.30 p.m. for the Kol Nidre services. On Yom Kippur Day, the service will continue Thursday at 9 a.m. The Yom Kippur study session and the reading of Jonah will take place virtually. We will then conclude Yom Kippur with our memorial service and Ni'ilah service starting at 4.30 p.m. 
May this year be a sweet year for you all. May this year bring health to our community. May this year bring success to our children and our congregation. Shana Tova. And now, at the beginning of a new year, we pray for blessings. Hayom ta'amsenu, amen. Strengthen us on this day. Hayom tivrachenu, amen. Bless us this day. Amen. Hayom tigadlenu, lift up our lives on this day. Hayom tivrachenu letova, amen. Grant us goodness today. Hayom tich tavenu lechayim tovim. Amen. Inscribe us for a good life on this day. Hayom tishma shavatenu. Amen. Hear our hearts and words today. Amen. Hayom tikabel berachamim uveratzon et tefilatenu. Amen. Amen. On this day, receive our prayers with love. Amen. Hayom tit machenu bimin sid kecha. Amen. Fortify our best intentions. May we go forth today to do your righteousness. Amen. Tikiaga do la. Leshana tova tikatevu, leshana tova tikatevu, leshana tova vetechatevu, leshana tova tikatevu, leshana tova tikatevu. Leshana Tova Vetechatenu Leshana Tova Shana Tova A healthy year for all Awesome Time to go to work It's a lot more